Good. Well, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, today I'll, um, I'll talk about the, the, the Stackscape, which is a concept I, I thought about about two months ago, uh, knowing I had to prepare two talks about uh, uh, technology in, in, in paid search. And uh, I, I have to admit, it's not the world premiere anymore, but it's the European premiere, so you can tell your grandchildren later that you were there. Um, it's uh, because I did it three weeks ago in the US at the SMX West in San Jose. That was the first time I talked about this concept, and now I uh, have the pleasure to do it again here in, in Bologna. Uh, and I'll just walk you through it, so uh, I, I won't deep dive into very specific tools. It's more like an overview, a new overview that's hopefully very helpful. A lot of research has gone into it. Uh, uh, the, the idea behind it is, you know, if I need a tool for X, you know, what are my options? If I have a budget, uh, what are my options? Uh, because, uh, well, I will explain uh, what the logic behind is. So uh, this is today's uh, topics. Um, just a general note, uh, the slides can be found on the website that you, you just saw, um, and where you can find much more information, where everything is clickable, so I, would, I will come back to that later. Um, so yeah, I, I would highly recommend to afterwards really take the time to go through everything um, because it's a lot of you know a lot of links, a lot of tools you can check out. So some background about me: I have done I've been doing paid search for over ten years uh, since two thousand nine, working for iProspect, which was uh, in the Netherlands was Net Society before. Um, I've been writing articles about audits, uh, especially um, maybe you've read them, maybe you otherwise you can uh, link over there. Um, so, uh, and I'm currently building a software myself, so I have a, a new, I always have, was very interested in software, but now I just have an obligation to check out my potential competitors and uh, partners. Um, so this, this is where I got the idea first. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the, the MarTech landscape, the thing on the left, I will zoom in a bit later, or the, or the LumaScapes. These are so-called landscapes of technology where where uh, companies, or, or a blogger in this case on the left, are trying to put all available technology with logos for a specific uh, category in there. So these are cool, and these are overwhelming, and they're kind of meant to be. And if you look on the left one, you see the, the number of uh, marketing technology solutions, how they've increased over the last year. So you see like the first time he did it, it was 150 uh, solutions, and the, and the new one is coming up for 2017 anytime now, somewhere in the coming weeks. Uh, and we're now over 3,500. And if you look at 2012, that was 350. So it's a tenfold growth in four years. I don't know many industries that have grown 10 times in the number of suppliers in just four years. So it's, um, uh, as they say, then it's software is, is eating marketing. There's a, um, there's a very famous article wrote, written by uh, Mark Andreessen, founder of Netscape. I don't know if you're old enough to remember what Netscape is, but um, he wrote Why Software is Eating the World. I would recommend you read that, and then we can actually see that. And if I don't know if you were to, uh, this morning session, but you more and more when you go to conference, you hear about you know how software is changing our lives, machine learning, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But as a general, that, that's more like a big picture thing. When we zoom in and try to find specific tools, and I know I don't think you can even read this one, but you could zoom in even deeper. Um, let's say you're really actually looking for a certain tool or a certain software. This doesn't directly help you because it's it's quite broad categories. Uh, I just give an example here that AdGuru and WordStream are in the same category. I don't know if you know these tools, but they do very different things. I mean, they're both paid search tools, but they don't perform the same task. So I was thinking, you know, this is not really helpful. It's a starting point, but it's not, uh, it's more like to overwhelm people. Then that was the one end of the spectrum, like the big, uh, big picture thing. On the other hand, there's this concept of the tech stack. So that's, I don't know if you're familiar with that, but that's your personal or your company's uh, collection or combination of technology. And there's the same guy who makes these big, these big landscapes, it also organizes here these techies awards. And then uh, he invites the companies to make one slide that very nicely visualizes all the technology they use and, and how they use it. So, um, you know, again, there's links there, you, so you get the high resolution version if you want to. But here's just a few examples of how they very uh, nicely and, and well thought out organized. You can see how these companies think about their technology, how everything fits together, which purpose they serve. So I was thinking, on the one end, you have these enormous landscapes with thousands of tools, and on the, one, on the other hand, you have like this, this is the end goal, actually, right? You, you, this is what you want as a company. You want your technology to be right in place, no 